150 MG seamen in Kolkata doctor's body suspect gang rape parents to court. The 31-year-old doctor raped and murdered at a government hospital in Kolkata had a significant amount of semen in her body, suggesting gang rape. Her parents told the Calcutta High Court that transferred to the CBI the investigation into the case that has shaken the nation. They said in their petition that the post-mortem report had unequivocally stated that the cause of death was strangulation of the neck, and that there are clear signs of Sexual assault. Petitioners state that the post mortem report provided devastating details that confirmed their worst fears. Their daughter's body bore several injury marks, indicating a brutal and violent attack, said the petition, accessed by NDTV. Several portions of the victim's head showed signs of trauma. Both ears exhibited signs of injury, suggesting a violent struggle. Her lips were injured, indicating that she may have been silenced or gagged during the attack. The petition added. It also said bite marks were found on her neck, underlining the severity of the assault. The petition said that the autopsy found 150 mg of semen in the victim's body, a quantity suggesting involvement of more than one individual. Further corroborated the suspicion of gang rape. Before the case was transferred to CBI, state police had arrested Sanjoy Roy, a civic volunteer who frequented the hospital. No step taken to arrest any other offenders while the evidence clearly indicates that their daughter was the victim of a gang rape and murder, a crime that could not have been committed by one person alone. The parents' petition said dot the parents also underlined that the then principal of R.G. Carr Medical College and Hospital and other stakeholders who were responsible for the victim's safety on the premises are yet to be apprehended. I in its order to transfer the probe to CBI. The High Court came down heavily on the hospital administration and especially its former principal Dr Sandip Ghosh. The court questioned why the hospital authorities did not file a police complaint after the doctor was found dead. It also pulled up the state government for appointing Dr Ghosh as principal of another medical college hours after he resigned as the head of R.G. Carr Medical College. In their petition, the victim's parents have also said they have come to learn through reliable sources that evidence exists on record suggesting that at least three individuals were involved in the strangulation of their daughter. The significant amount of semen found in her body further supports the involvement of multiple perpetrators they told the court. The autopsy, they alleged, was conducted hastily. Improper autopsy was done with a view to shield the others involved in their daughter's death, they said in the petition.